how to customize the data entry form. So from the data entry screen in Arctos, you'll see some tools that allow you to manage the appearance of the data entry form. So beginning with sorting, if you click this enable sortable link, it allows you to drag and drop the different data blocks into different positions on the screen. And this feature is really nice for configuring the form to meet your workflow needs. So for instance, if I'm entering records directly from my physical catalog, I can reorganize this form to mirror the field order in my catalog for a more efficient workflow. And to lock these blocks back in place, I can click dis Disable Sortable, and then I'll no longer be able to drag and drop them around the screen. And I can reset the default order, clicking here, and I'm back to the regular setup. Another customization are is calendars. So date fields on the data entry screen, generally when you click into them, a little calendar tool pops up. But if you don't want to use that, you can just click Disable to hide that feature and then enter dates manually. And then finally, I can customize the fields on data entry in a couple of ways, the first of which is hiding them. So maybe your collection doesn't necessarily use all the fields seen on the data entry form, or maybe you just want to hide um, some fields just to reduce noise on the screen. For instance, you might only need two part names instead of the entire suite. And if I navigate to customize form, I can turn off different fields by using the hide feature. So this form won't let you turn off any required fields. So for instance, um, tax on name, you just have the option to show this field versus something like coordinates, I am able to hide that set of fields. So you can either um, scroll down this box, this uh, pop-up window, or you can just go to this jump to and jump to the data block that you need. So if I want to shut off um, all but two parts, I can go ahead and just hide all and then turn on part name one and part name two by clicking show. And you'll notice that um, for the remaining part names, all of the child fields belonging to a given part are still um, set to show, but because the parent part is set to hide, that will turn those um, contingent fields off. So to save my changes, I'll go to save and close. Oh, maybe I didn't click any. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'll go to save and close and we'll scroll down and see my parts just have two fields visible. And just something to note uh, and be careful of when you're entering data is that you're not hiding any fields that already have data in them. If you do that and hit save, you will be saving that hidden data even though it's not visible. So just be aware. And then um, lastly, on customize, I can also carry over values. So let's say I have um, a set of records I'll be entering where all the collectors are going to be the same for 10 records. I can jump to collectors and um, select carry for maybe agent one and two um, so that those names will get carried over to each new record that I save rather than me typing in the names again and again. So that's a nice feature that reduces your time um, and redundancy when entering new records. So that is it for the customized form. Thanks for listening.